How are you all doing, my friends? Enrique here one more time, bringing you this time a complete optimization and a really easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions guide to get more FPAs in Fortnite. When you follow and apply each of these steps on this guide, you could dramatically increase your Fortnite frames per second and in real game situations. We're going to be setting up windows for the perfect performance on gaming and also we're going to be tweaking the settings inside of the game itself. Just one small thing before starting the video, press the like button because this will really help the channel out and if you find the video useful. And don't forget to subscribe so you can have more videos like this one, optimization guides in Windows and for more games, and also some tech tutorials. Now, with nothing more to add, let's jump right into it. The first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have Windows up to date. For that, you want to click in here, go into the settings menu, and once this is open, you want to click into update and security, and you want to check for updates. When you have your updates up to date, you can close this window. Another thing that you also want to have updated to the latest drivers is your graphic card. I'm going to leave the links of NVIDIA, AMD and Intel drivers on the description down below. Now, if you are using an Intel or AMD graphic card, the settings are going to be a little bit different, but you are going to be able to follow along. Now, right click anywhere empty on the desktop, click on the NVIDIA control panel, and in here you want to go to the tab that says Manage 3D Settings, go into Program Settings, and in here you want to add one new program. Click on Add. If you don't find Fortnite inside of here, you want to click on Browse. For that, you want to go into your Fortnite folder. For me, it's in Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite. Go inside of Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. And here you want to choose this one, Fortnite Client, Win64 Shipping. Click on it and click on Open. And now let's change some of the settings right here. In here, you want to set ambient occlusion is not supported for this application. An isotropic filtering, you want to set it in off. Anti-aliasing FXAA, you want to set it in off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, again in off. Anti-aliasing mode, off. Anti-aliasing setting in none. Anti-aliasing transparency, off. CUDA GPUs, you want to make sure that in here to use these GPUs and to select the graphic card that you are using. Click OK. Into multi frame sample. Set it into off. Open GL, be sure that you have selected your graphic cards again. Into power management mode, set prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, set highest available, shader cache, set it in on. Texture refiltering, an isotropic sample optimization, set it in on. Texture refiltering, negative LOD bias, set it to allow. Credit optimization, set it into on. Credit optimization, set it to auto. Triple buffering, set it into off. Vertical sync, set it into off. And here you are pretty much set to go. You can click on apply and you can close this window. The next step that we want to do is to go into your search bar and write graphics, settings right here. Open it. And in here you want to be sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. And in Graphic Performance Preference, you want to add Fortnite. So then you want to click on Browse and go once more into the folder where you have Fortnite installed. Select the file and click on Add. And in here, onto the options, what do you prefer for Graphic Performance? Set it into High Performance. Click on Save. Close this window. Now let's make sure that you have the High Performance Power Plan enabled on Windows. Click again on the search bar, Power. Plan, click right here. You want to go into the power options and be sure that you have the high performance plans, even if you are using an Intel CPU or an AMD Ryzen CPU like I have right here. If you guys are interested into a full optimization guide on Windows for gaming, check this video out right here. Now you want to set your processor state to 100%. For that, you want to click on change plan settings Click on Change Advanced Power Settings and on this small pop-up window, you want to scroll down until you find the Processor Power Management. Expand it and here into Maximum Processor State, you want to make sure that it's set to 100%. Click on Apply if you haven't already and then click OK and you can close this window. Now guys, let's launch the game and we are going to be tweaking the settings there. Now that you have the game open, before starting tweaking the settings in-game, you want to press 
Control Shift Escape to open the Task Manager. And in here you want to go into Details tab, search for the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe, right click on it, and into Set Priority, choose High. This is going to allow your PC to dedicate more resources to it so you can get more frames per second. Once you have done that, know the Task Manager, and now let's start to tweak the settings inside of the game itself. The first, right here into window mode, you want to set it into full screen. This is always the best setting to choose, depending on your monitor resolution, you can change it right here. Into frame rate limit, you can set it to unlimited. I think it's the best thing to do if you don't have too much dips into your game. If you see that you have some dips on it, that the frame sometimes go really low, and then they jump right back up, especially when there is too much action going on, then I recommend you to set a lower limit, like 60 FPS. But to get the most frames that you can, set it into unlimited. Now let's go into the graphics set. Do not use the auto set quality, it's better to set this yourself. 3D resolution, it, this determines the resolution of objects that are showing game. The things look best at 100%, but if you have any problems, you can always set it a little bit down. View distance, choose epic, because here the difference between epic and near is almost nothing. So it's better when you can see more of the game. Shadows really take an impact in your graphic card. So turning the setting off will be our greatest FPS increase. The anti-aliasing smooth the edges of the graphics, but it can also hurt your performance, so you can also set it into off. Textures. This is another setting that depending on the computer that you have, but if you want to have the best frames that you can, the highest frames that you can, you want to set it into low. Of course, the game is not going to look so good. In the effects, if you don't really care about pretty things and the details on certain objects and interactions in Fortnite, then turn it into low to get more frames. If you are playing at 1080p, you are almost not going to notice nothing into quality, but it's really going to decrease your frames per second, so you want to set the post-processing into low. Now into the advanced graphics settings, V-Sync. If you cannot do so much frames as you want, and you're having a lot of tearing and problems, you can to set it into on, but as long as to get the most frames that you can do, you want to set it into off. Motion blur, these don't have so much impact in your frames, but I really don't like how this looks, so I set it into off, but this is personal preference. Show FPS, you can set this to on, so you can see the difference that these settings do into your game, and you can control that you don't have any dips or problems while gaming. Into rendering mode, choose Direct 11, because this one is the one that is more controlled and tested for the game, so it's the best right now. Allow multi-threaded rendering, set it into on, because this is going to split the work across multiple threads on your CPU and can really dramatically improve your frames per second. Use GPU crash debugging. If you have a lot of crashing during gameplay, you can set this on, but mostly you don't really need it. The rest you don't really need, you can leave it all in off. It's going to work really good like this. Select apply, and yes. And one simple thing, one more thing that you can do to improve your frame per second is to turn off record replays in your Fortnite setting. Because if you are recording your gameplay with another medium, for example, like OBS or NVIDIA Shadowplay, you don't really need to have them on, and also they're going to hurt. And it's also not going to make so steady your frames per second in the moment that it's going to start recording, and it's going to take a lot of resources from your PC. For that, you want to go right here into the settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we say record replays, you want to set it into off. And if you are also running an NVIDIA graphic card, you can always choose the option of recording your gameplay and your replays into that software. It's not going to be as hard in your CPU and GPU as the one by the game itself. You want to apply the settings, and that is pretty much it, my friends. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed the video and you find it useful, don't forget to share it with your friends and to press that like button. That will really help the channel out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to bring you more videos like this one, more tutorials and tech reviews. Write me also in the comments down below if this video have helped you. I'll always try to answer you all. And like always, my friends, thanks for watching and see you in the next time. Bye bye.